Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music. I'm going to show you now how to do uh, a different kind of uh, chalkboard add photo by using um, chroma key. So this one's a bit more difficult than the other one. It's more technical, but it's not that hard really. But um, it's a bit harder than the other way I've used uh, earlier. Anyway, I've just opened a new um, video um, with chalkboard and I've just put the title in and I'm going to change the um, ratio um, aspect ratio to 1080p right now I'm going to add some text in you can get that in right that's done now I'm going to change the text to say what I want to say obviously and uh, I'm going to add uh, uh, an object which is going to be uh, a green rectangle which I'll put on the um, right hand side of the picture and I might also add uh, a duplicate scene where I can add another picture uh, using um, a customised actual green screen like um, bigger which is an actual uh, outline of me uh, from a photograph uh, which I've coloured in green the same as the, uh, the rectangle uh, with that I'm going to put a picture of me on there um, on the second scene as well as the other photo will be on there so you can see how you can use different shapes anyway it shows, tells you there what I'm going to do I am going to add a photo to chalkboard with chroma key right now I'm adding the prop which is the re rectangle there the green rectangle it's bright green as you can see if you use the bright green one you, they're, they're usually the best ones to use you can you can use blue as well but, or any other colour really but you, usually green's less likely to be in the picture than other colours for some reason I don't, I don't know why it works out that way but it seems to ok right, so now I'm doing the duplicate scene and I'm going to click on that and now I'm going to put in my other prop, which is what I told you, just um, my, my green customised outline. As you can see, it's there. Right, that's the one. And I'm going to put that lower down. Right, there you go. I'm going to shrink that down a bit. There you go. Put it over there. Then I'm going to put a bit more text on saying what I want you want want you to read off it which is going to be um, if you like this video subscribe to Tony's Music here I am and I'll put a, a GIF arrow on as well so you know how to do GIF send as well so that's an extra thing I'll do for you so in a minute I'm going to do that just give me time it takes a, a time for me to do my uh, typing as I said before Unfortunately, my keyboard's not the best. Um, it uses wireless thing and it sort of misses every now and again. So, you know, all I can do is just try and do my best with it at the minute. Right. Are we nearly done with that? Hopefully. Okay, that's that done. Now I'm going to add a new prop, which is going to be the thing you have to have put that in the right order. So get the props, add a prop. Come on. Now we've got to try and find me gifts. Right. Um, oh, wrong one. It's A. That's it. Now animated gifts are there. I'm going to get an arrow on. Look, where's the arrows? There they are. And oh, let's get something a bit special. If we can. Yeah, that that looks right. That one will do it. Yeah, that would be nice. Right, well, there's that one, and we'll do a little. Put it to the side there, like that. Hopefully, that'll be all right. Um. Right, so what, what should we do now? Um, shall we preview it? Let's try previewing it, yep. Oh, 
hang on, we'll preview it and save that and preview it see how it looks so far right yeah I haven't um, stopped it from drawing the, tr the square the rectangle or my image I need to stop that right and the gif won't show as it's supposed to do at the moment right so what we need to do then is go into the settings for each of those items so settings for the rectangle and We'll do the first one first, obviously. Yeah, because we've got to do it on both um, of the um, the duplicate and the sing and the initial um, scene for the one. And otherwise, it'll draw it on one of them, and we don't want it drawing it at all. And then we need to not draw that either, because I want to come up all of a sudden like that. I suppose you could draw it, but it'd look a bit weird okay right now I'm going to extend the time on the back of the scene so that it will show the gif actually moving because without the extra time you won't see the, the gif moving at all like the flashing or anything so now we're going to preview it again and you'll see how it works right and that's going to go over that so that's fine and there's the gif and that'll start flashing in a minute yeah there you go it flashed a little bit and that's how that works right now once we've done that we can save it export it and we're going to change the resolution to 1080p again and we save that and let that run and export once that's exported what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to uh, um, open the um, folder to get the um, actual video off put that to my desktop and then I'm going to open up um, Cyberlink Power Director Okay, I've opened a new project for uh, Power Director and I'm just going to add my photos now. I'm going to do a building from India uh, as one of them because it looks pretty awesome. So I'll do that. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome. I like that. Um, and then I'm going to do my picture of myself for you, uh, which is there. It's only going to be cut out of that picture anyway, so that's not a problem. And the next thing I've got to do is add the doodly video, right? Now I'm going to put my picture on the number one timeline. I mean, you can expand the picture after. And then the next one goes on the number two line there. And 
then I'm going to uh, adjust the sizes of them to more approximately where the green screen parts will be. I'm not going to be accurate until I get the uh, the video on and cr uh, put the chroma key uh, effect on it. So we can adjust it afterwards anyway, but it's a bit awkward uh, once you've done it anyway because <laughs> you can't uh, control it so well once you've put them on um, for some reason. I don't know why. It's, it's just very awkward, but I, I've got it in the, more or less the areas. And now we're going to do the crown key effect on this. Just double click on that. Not that. We don't want that. Double click. Right there. That's what we got. And we scroll down to the crown key. Click on the crown key. And then we take off the blue, the, the green like that. You can adjust the uh, colour range and that to make it uh, more accurate, otherwise you might get some uh, noise off it. So you can use the denoise effect and that as well. Now, I usually do that, but on this occasion I'm not bothered really, because they are now green in the uh, photos I'm using really, except for my own picture one, which it won't affect it really that much, because it's not exactly the same colour as the green on the thing. Right now there you can see the pictures are showing through. It's just adjusting them now to get them right. Alright, so there you go. Now I need to pull that up a bit to make it bigger. The only problem is it keeps on... Uh, you keep missing the photo. It keeps going off. You have to keep on reselecting it. Which is a bit of a nuisance, but there you go. But uh, it's done it again. It's a bit awkward, but you get used to it after a bit. I, I mean, this is the first time I've actually done this. For, to show you so because I don't usually bother with photos I usually do videos <laughs> but uh, yeah it's that sort of thing anyway so I know how to do it so I'm, I'm showing you how to do it so give you an idea what to do if you want to do that sort of thing it's uh, just a bit of fiddling about just to get it the way you want it to be a bit more out of it one side uh, then maybe a little bit bigger just to take everything else off it and then move it across a little bit more. There you go, that'll, that's near enough anyway. That's near enough it. Come on, just a little bit more. Oh. Oh. So this is just fiddling about a bit. So, as you can see, time there's, it's a bit of a nuisance when it keeps on panning off to something else. But there you go, that's, that's about as best I'm going to do at the minute. So I'm a bit tired as it is, so that'll do. That's uh, that's going to be okay. That's what I want somewhere down there, right? And the other photo needs adjusting too, so I need to click on the photo itself to get that up, and then adjust it like that. Reduce it down a bit so you get the full picture on there, if I can. That's it. And then centralise it if I can. That's that, right? Um, I don't think there's anything else you really need to do, really, except for try previewing it. Let's get back to the front and preview what's happening here. Right. Grammar key effect, yeah, that's worked. If you like this video, subscribe to download music. Here I am. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that's working. Yeah, brilliant. I love it really works for me so now what you need to do now is just produce it and that should be it really once you've done that it should be done it won't take long to produce that because there isn't much of it there so I'll use the HEVC because that's the uh, lowest uh, compression one and it's, it's really fast as well on here so And that's it, job done. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.